Yo, we're rolling. We rolling. You know what I'm saying? So the bottom line is whoever's in here, blacks is gonna have it fucked up. Latinos is gonna have it fucked up. You better Word. get off your ass and make it happen and work harder. Is it fair? No. When I think about the lyricist that had me like, yeah. like, rock him a lot of times is different. You're now tuned you're in now to tuned a fine, in to a fine, 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 fine healthy mess. trap. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like you take a black family household with the same education as a, as a white family, they actually earn more income than the white family. Where is that shit at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the, that statistic, we gotta pull that shit up. Yeah. I don't believe that shit. Yo, I'm calling bullshit on that. <laughs> don't let Obama get you fucked up out here. The world has not changed that much. It ain't all just the music. When you talk about hip hop culture, it isn't just the music. Correct. The fucking kids and sports that, you know what I'm saying? Let's get everybody get a trophy. No, man, nigga, you a loser. I'm sorry, dog. You don't get a fucking trophy. Uh, Supreme clientele. Fuck. Cheers. How did I get that? Yeah. Salute. Yeah. yeah. Salute. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like if we move into school vouchers. So right now we're talking about school vouchers yeah. programs. Uh, yeah, we like on some tangent shit. So we just thought that we start recording. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because Fucking this is, three whether you want to look at it, it's hip hop. To some yeah, degree, because when you talk about hip hop, we're talking inner about city. inner cities. Yeah. You're speaking where hip hop came from. Yeah, so, For real. You know, to A lot us, of y'all going through this the, shit. Yeah, it's, it's the future. Yep. You know, as as loving the culture and loving what hip hop is all about, yeah. our future is dealing with this this issue now with um Yo man, Wu Tang uh, said like we for the kids. Wu Tang for the kids, man. <laughs> Wu Tang for the kids. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what it's you all about, I mean? man. The babies, man. You gotta, so, you gotta break think. it down what we yeah. actually talking about. Yeah. What we, what so we so into. so right now we we're talking about the voucher program that is looking like it's gonna be implemented. It may not be necessarily right away. But it, uh, you know, over time, it, it, it's going to be implemented more and more within mm-hmm. the school systems. Um, what that's going to do is allow uh, kids, you know, any kid really, to go to any school that they want to with this voucher program. Um, a pro to that could be, you know, uh, a, a kid that's in the inner city and in, in the impoverished areas. You know, he's typically pigeonholed to. Uh, a certain school based off of his address. Whereas with the voucher program, he can go, you know, Deshaun or Marquise can go to a different school other than the one in Watts or that's in Compton or whatever it is, whatever school he wants to go to or that his parents choose for him to go to that might have better academics or better curriculum, um, better teachers. Because unfortunately, they put, <clears throat> instead of the best teachers in the Worst areas, they put the bat the the worst teachers in the worst areas, and they probably should flip that around. Um, right. But it's a very subjective subject. Um, you know, will the pro- voucher program be something that will benefit the community? Um, will it not benefit the community? That's what we're discussing right now and covering it with the open mind, um, both sides of it. So here's my thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Skits. Uh, me being a person who, um, you know, has a daughter who is now in college, uh, came up in the public school system. Uh, very proud that she did uh, because I feel like she is an example of, you know, I think a lot of people try to shit on the public school system. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, I'm not also denying the fact that there are some fucked up public schools because, <laughs> you know, even with my daughter, you know, we tried to make sure that we lived in the area that um, had a good public school rating and um, that, you know, that way she was able to get a good education and now um, be off in college like the way she is now. Um, so with the the... You know the um, the voucher program. You know I I've always kind of danced on both sides of this. Um, I do feel like the voucher program is good because, like you said, you know I feel like you know Deshaun and Compton, if he has an opportunity to go to a better school than the fucked up school that is in Compton, 
um, where there's no money and you know the teachers don't give a shit. Yeah. Um, the students don't give a shit too. I I feel like we. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of times we try to shit on the teachers yeah. and um, it's full circle. It's yeah, it's, it's and full the parents circle. as well. You know what I'm the saying? Yeah, the parents don't give a people. shit. Nobody like shit. Yeah. you know, these poor teachers are going through a lot of bullshit just to try to make these kids um, want to care about their education yeah, yeah. and and care about learning. Um, how many I, stand and deliver teachers do we have today? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And how how we, many teachers are given the freedom to be the stand Yeah, That's which That's is true. another thing. They Absolutely. have a whole lot of, you know, government mandated, you know, curriculum Man, that they need that to, they you know, yeah, that they have to go to through. be the Joe Clarks. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, you know, there, there's, there's a lot of shit that is... Um, you know, just completely jacked up about the school system. But here's my only worry, um, if I can try and cut through um, a lot of, you know, the shit I'm going to talk about, that um, is my my only worry with the voucher system is that I feel like we almost will move into the public-owned prism, mm. prison system. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Where, okay... Let's get fucking people out of the public and let's get them into the privately owned, yeah. business owned school system to where now we have businesses that are running our school system. And in, you know, at first it may seem like it's all nice and gravy, but when it comes down to it, businesses only give a fuck about making a profit. Yep. So if anything yep. that is not going to work and is not going to make a profit, yep. then they're going to fucking feed our kids bullshit, um, which they're probably already getting fed bullshit <laughs> in the public yeah, system. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Even worse bullshit. Um, they're going to cut pay from teachers. They're going to, you know, cut curriculum and not really give a shit about the end result of what our kids are getting because it does not make a business sense, um, you know, in their books. So they're going to be like, okay, well, yeah. you know, we're not profitable running it this way. So we need yeah. to cut shit. And that's my big worry. And, and At least totally now, if it's a public system, I, you know, I'm like, Stop being bitches and fucking <laughs> really improve the public system. Make these fucking teachers accountable. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, quit let's do money shit. Out quit taking the money public. out of the public yeah. school system yeah. and, you know, change these schools. You know, I, real quick, you know, my, my, my friend uh, Damien, who just moved up to Houston, Texas, um, sorry, D. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I hate to put you on blast. <laughs> yeah, I hate to put you on blast, but um, you know, I I was speaking to him, and you know, he is um somewhat uh left wing like I am, so Word. you know, I I, I will kind of you know break that with this if anybody fucking you know has some other information you know yeah. that is you know different from this, you know, what I'm saying you know take it as you is, but um. He was telling me that, you know, the thing that's fucked up about, like, you know, Texas, you know, with him just moving there is that, you know, he really was able to see for the first time that, you know, it's great that I think Texas is like Vegas where it doesn't have any state tax. Uh, like, like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> you know, no state tax. It's a very yep. business friendly. Yeah, very Got business it. friendly. And, but the fucked up thing about it is that he was, he was finally able to see with being a homeowner, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, and him and his wife, they still in their home and, you know, um, in Van Nuys, you know, that they have, okay. you know, they're written that out, but they bought another home in, in Houston. He was able to see that the difference in, like, the fucking ghettos of Houston, mm -hmm. where everybody's renting and they don't fucking pay any, you know what I'm saying, right. you know, property tax, to where he's living in a nice fucking suburban area. Yeah. And... His property taxes pay for the schools. Mm -hmm. So in those nice areas, they got the nice schools. They can afford to pay teachers and everything else. And he's like, I only imagine in the areas where the property yeah. is low in value. Right. No one's fucking paying. You know, the, the only the owner or whatever is yeah. paying into yeah. the property taxes. Who doesn't give a shit because there's 
kids aren't going to those schools, you know what I'm saying, and everything. And there's none of that money that is going to the schools. But yet, in the suburbs and yeah. the fucking nice areas, where the they property vote, taxes, going, where they vote yeah. and where they push yeah. for <laughs> different initiatives and everything. Right. Correct. That money is going to the schools, but all the poor kids in the poor neighborhoods, that's why the schools are so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And this is the dichotomy he's seeing. Yeah, and that's, that's what he's seeing out man. there. And he's like, man, it's so crazy, and I feel so fucking bad because, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes down to it, you know, you know, and he's got a little boy. He's like, my son is going to be able to go to a good school. Yep. We're paying property taxes, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we're able to do some shit, but... Because the state charges no state tax and they're not able to get taxes, tax revenues for the schools in there, mm-hmm. it's only based on the property taxes, but the properties aren't worth shit because they're in the fucking ghetto. Mm-hmm. So the owners are paying no state tax, you know, no, no, really no property taxes. Yep. So there's no money that are going to the schools in right. that area. Wow. And I was like, wow, that is that's, that, deep that, that whole shit. infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, that whole infrastructure yeah, is yeah, fucked it up. All, it all comes into play. It all comes into play. It, it makes you in, think and yeah. it made me completely think about like, that's why the schools in the fucking ghetto is so fucked up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes the whole community yeah, it, it, it takes them all involved, down. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, everybody you know? has to be involved. So Those areas. that's that's my only thing with school vouchers, man. I wish that they would really push to to make because me, I feel that schooling is something that everyone in this country should get for free. Mm-hmm. Um and I feel that it's something that does nothing but advance our country it advance our people um as a whole um you know everyone you know the more the more intelligent people we have in this country the better off this country is going to be when google and apple and microsoft is constantly getting people from fucking India yeah, and China yeah, yeah. and everything else, that just makes us look fucking stupid because right. our people are not good in math. They're not, not good, good in science. science. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? So they need to go to it, other countries to get people. And that, and that poses the question too. I mean, uh, economically, we have more invested into our school systems than other countries. Very but true. we're behind them. But we are behind. behind you know what I mean? We are behind do, them. Do we need to give the government more funds to you, put it in academically? Is yeah. It, is or it being we dispersed need properly? To just, yeah. You know, is it the community as a whole? Like you said, the yeah. people don't give a shit. The parents don't give a shit. Give the shit. students don't give a shit. Yeah. It's just Every, like... Everything you know has I mean? to come full circle. Yeah. Everything it's culture, has to come man. together. Yeah. It's because culture. that's the problem. Because for me... Mama... <laughs> yeah, mama, <laughs> the white teeth. Because <laughs> that's the problem for me is that now I have a child that's going to be mm-hmm. growing up in the system. Um, fortunately for me, being in the Inland Empire, living in Redlands, it is yeah. the number one. Yeah, Redlands um, got some great public schools out there. Yeah, schooling. Nice. Um, but sometimes I don't want to get caught in that. R- that rut that so many people get caught into where it's like, well, I'm in Redlands. I'm in the number one school system. Mm. Fuck what they're going through. In yeah, there. You know, very true. So that's where I be here. on. Why yeah. don't they move yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, if they like, need, oh, well, you know, my, my kids are fine. My kids is going to get it. Fuck those other you know kids. Yeah. In Rialto my fault you live in San Bernardino. Rialto, <laughs> that's your problem. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. kid going to get it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't want to get caught up into that. My big issue too, standardized testing. Yeah, I have a major problem where the school system gets money with how many students you get to pass these tests. Yeah, it's a business. It's a Mm -hmm. business, and it sucks because now you putting a child's education on a business platform where it shouldn't. Which I have a problem with also with that with medical. I don't mm. believe medical should be on a business platform. No. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking about life or death. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you're talking it, about man. a person dying and you're like, okay, well, no, well, maybe they might have to die because yeah. we're not gonna put all this money on this uh-huh. new medical condition yeah. or what uh-huh. have you. And I feel that way with the schools where it's like, well, we're not gonna put all this money 
in this inner city and god these guys are only testing at x amount of points Man, this so and that. Very useful. you know what i'm yeah. saying and it's like it's already been shown that culturally these tests are not made for the black and the brown mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it's already been told it's already been put out there tests have shown that these tests are not for the black and the brown yeah Definitely for not for us to excel in. Mm-hmm. You know, so that is one thing I feel that the states have had to figure out because especially with Trump in office, it's basically going to be left up to the states mm-hmm. yeah. to yeah. make these things happen. Yeah. The government is pretty much... He's real big on of, states' choice. Yeah, he's very, very big on that. So we basically already know it's going to be up to the states. Yeah. So in one aspect, I do agree that as a parent, I should be able to take my child to whatever school. Yeah, the choice. If I'm Give in San Bernardino and I want to take my kid to Relance because the schools in San Bernardino fucked up, mm-hmm. I should be able to do it. But by the same token, yeah, the states just should be able to look at San Bernardino yeah, schools and wonder why the fuck is everybody yeah. getting out of here? Yeah, and it's, it's like true. okay, we it's need true. to start putting in effect something, and we've talked about, and I think. Every listener who is confused about the school system, please watch Waiting for Superman. Mm. This will give you a big. Yeah, we were we were talking about tenure a, a whole tenure lot. Tenure to you me know. is the biggest yeah. biggest issue in the school system. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you have and this is on any job. Yeah. If you put. A Negro on a job <laughs> and he can do whatever he wanna Can't do get fired. and no, not yeah. get fired. Yeah. Even 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 the most ethical yeah. human yeah. being, and you're gonna yeah. feel it's you gonna kinda, give you a certain demeanor, like yeah. you know, fuck it. I, I might, whole might bend a little here, yeah. flex yeah. a little what bit. What you gonna there. do? Fire oh, me? Yeah, it's a whole different <laughs> yeah. swag. Yeah. That you, yeah. 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 Fire me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It has messed up the game. It has and it has even even with the with the testing is handcuffed. Teachers, where it's like I can't even put my curriculum in effect because yeah. Yeah. the states is telling me that you need X amount of your students to pass this mm-hmm. damn test. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what you teaching these kids. Yeah, you need if you need to make teachers not pass this yeah. test. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and everything else is irrelevant. Yeah. And it's like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's, it's a tore up situation, and that's yeah. what we're gonna start getting into if we're just letting. The states dictate yeah. how we are allowed to bring our students. Like I said, I'm I'm with parents having the choice. The choice. Yeah. The yeah. parents should have the choice. But by the same token, we can't let the states off the hook mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with the they gotta improve. Well, I, I think you that, gotta improve. That's what they're hoping the it's gonna yeah. jolt. They're and. they're they're hoping that I feel that they are gonna shake up the educational system. And make them step it up. I, I mean, pray that's they what do. they hope. I, hope. I, I pray mean, they do. But like you said, on the other token, it could be well, fuck it, shit. But at the same token, if you say fuck it, shit, you're throwing away uh, some of your income as well. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it is based off of how it many is kids based you have on, at the yeah, school. Any, so they have to give a fuck to a degree, yeah. um, and step it up in some areas. You know what I mean? And, and improving the academics, and you know. Like I said, the, the, they put the worst teachers in the worst areas. It should probably be the other way around, you know, to improve those areas. Mm-hmm. You know, put the best yeah. teachers there. And Maybe it'll change there. the environment. You, you need know them I mean? there. It's like we discussed yeah. earlier, man. You have so many dynamics against the teacher. Yeah, yeah. You got the parents who ain't a part of the damn situation. Yeah. You got the students that ain't really into mm-hmm. it, man. It's yeah. It's a tough situation for these these teachers, man. Yeah. You know, so you got to create this environment where you got to talk to the students. Yeah. I mean, not the students, not just the students, but you got to mm-hmm. talk to the teachers yeah. and and get with them and find out what it is that you think because the teachers know. Correct. These bureaucrats in in Washington mm-hmm. or in Sacramento mm-hmm. if you're in California, yeah, yeah. they're not with these students every day. Yep. They don't know mm-hmm. what's with them more than take. their own parents. So, yeah, you know more, I mean? more than parents. Exactly. It it, it 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 sickens me that the parents rely so much on mm-hmm. the teachers yeah. to nurture their children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know what I'm saying? The teachers are only one aspect of my 
yeah. my child being successful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, need I to gotta do my part. part. Yeah. You know, if I'm not going to the teacher parent conferences, if I'm not, you know what I'm saying, getting with that teacher and realize, okay, what is it that my student needs to do? What is it that my child needs to do to be better? Yeah. Then Man, I'm not doing my child no good. I'm just as foul as anybody else that's in the situation. Yeah. You know, I got to play a bigger part. And the parent has to... I feel the parents have gotten lazy, dude. Yeah. You know, in all aspects. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. with, Even if you put the prayer in the school situation, it's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. why am I relying on the school to pray with my child? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why yeah, can't yeah. I pray with yeah, my child yeah. before Correct. he goes off to school, yeah, before she goes yeah. off to school? Yep, I don't yep. need the They're school to God do out this of school, shit. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know? Even if I know that. Yeah, but that's the that's the complaint, which, I mean, yeah. and that's what the, the school system had back in the day, which is cool, you know, that mm-hmm. they, you know, put that in there, but I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, it's but, the basis that you have at home. Yeah, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? If, if I'm doing it when at it home, it, if I'm yeah. doing that at You're not home, worried about it. It don't matter what the yeah. school is doing. Exactly. exactly. I'm doing it at that home. That shouldn't be yeah. what the kids worried about at fucking yeah. school. You know, it's yeah. just like if my yeah. child saluting the flag. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't give a shit about yeah. that. That doesn't have to do with his education. Like, what the hell does that have to do with his education? Yeah, what does it do with his education? Yeah. My thing is give him the education where he can move on and do something in life. You know what I mean? And and it's it's like you're not talking to the teachers to find out what it is to be successful or what it is, the tools that they need to be successful in raising these black and brown kids. Because I don't give a fuck what you say in these inner cities is different than what the fuck is going on in yeah. Beverly Hills yeah. or these other situations. You can't use the same dynamic mm-hmm. to teach the kids in the inner city as you do in these yeah. suburban areas. Yeah. So if this is all you going on, it's what's going on in Beverly Hills and this is what works for them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. Black and brown kids need to catch the fuck up yeah. and see what's... No, nah. man. That is not the situation. Every situation is different. You know, um, and you, you gotta treat everything as such. You know, black and brown is different than... You know, resources is different. I don't give a fuck how you put it. You know what I mean? If I got, if my family comes from wealth and I got resources to open a business, get education, of course my life is going to be fucking mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. That's always a debate as well. You know, um, if, if my family don't, I didn't, we didn't come, we brothers, yeah, we yeah, know, yeah, yeah. we didn't come from no fucking resources. No. Yep, we didn't yep, go yep. from nobody where we yeah. can, we didn't come from the Trumps. We couldn't yeah. go to, to mommy and daddy and be like, let me borrow a million, a million and start, start correct, this business. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different, we've had to have our struggles. Mm. You know, I've had my time in prison you know what I'm saying? My brothers have had their issues or whatever to combat whatever strikes or whatever was against us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to hear about what Becky over here and the, the, the situation that they had. Mm-hmm. Of course, they're supposed to fucking succeed. Everything yeah. is given to them. Yeah. Everything is there for them. And I'm not making an excuse for me going to prison. Mm-hmm. I knew the system was rigged. I know what the system I'm up against yep. and what it is for African Americans. I should have known better. You know what I'm saying? And, and ge- saying. geographic it's is different. always a debate as well because, I mean, even if you look at centuries ago, uh, whether it be with the Mayans or any type of uh, civilizations, you look at the, the Nile River or, you know, um, the Mississippi River, whatever it is, geographically, if you were on a certain side of the river, you know, you may have had more uh, vegetation. You may have had access to more fish. You may have had access mm-hmm. to different things than the person on the other side of the river. So right. those type of geographic yeah. issues still also, apply today. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so, they still apply today. You know what I mean? The, the type of resources that you have based off of your geographical location correlates a lot of times with what, what you know, you're, where you're able to excel. However, as the old saying goes, if somebody that looks like you has made it, you know, then you can do it too. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have and to remember why, that in the you know end I mean? of the day. Absolutely. You know, um, but we can't, it is 2017, so we yeah. can't use the excuse, the man's bringing us down. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, man, yeah, that, yeah. that shit is, is passe. You do have to realize it. I've talked to my son. As much as you believe that racism and all this shit does not play a part yeah. in 
what goes on in this country. Go out there and get your ass a business. Go out there and get your ass a job mm-hmm. and tell me how much racism does not exist in 2017. Mm, it does exist. But that does not mean you go sit back at home and play Super Nintendo or whatever hot mm. game that's out there and just say, fuck the system because it's rigged against me. It just yeah. means, as my generation was taught, you got to work 10 times harder mm-hmm. yeah. because you are going up against white supremacy. You are mm-hmm. going against white privilege. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to work harder than these cats do as an African-American. You know what I mean? It's 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 <clears throat> what was bred in 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 us early on, and I think it's what this generation has forgot. Yeah. As there's we got Obama as a president and everything, and people thinking all of a sudden this shit isn't here no more. You know what I'm saying? This shit is still here. You know, but we can't make it as excuse. You know what I mean? We can't just yeah. just lie down and let the shit take the best of us. You got to get out there and hustle your yeah. ass off. It's just the same thing with the Obama situation. Or the the Trump situation. Yeah, Trump is going to make it fucked up for brothers out here on the streets. But guess what? What president has made it easier for blacks out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get your ass up there. And Even get Obama it. was my nigga. Yeah, he didn't Obama make it was easy. my boy. He didn't make it easy. <laughs> Unemployment was higher with blacks when him in the office. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the bottom line is whoever's in there, blacks is going to have it fucked up. Latinos is going to have it fucked up. You better Word. get off your ass and make it happen and work harder. Is it fair? No. Yeah. When has it? ever been fair yeah. for African Americans. I mean, and you you got to take under consideration all of those things because some people will de- you know debate uh, geography, some people will debate um, gender, um, all of these types of things. You know, you hear a lot of um, um, women. You know, they they when Trump won, mm. it was like, well, look at that. You know, mm. um, you could be qualified, you could have the resume, and you still <laughs> lose as a woman. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, it, you know, that's always a debate in yeah. society. Mm-hmm. A woman can have mm-hmm. the same position as a man, but mm-hmm. um, make lower. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Study shows that's true. And uh, uh, my, my side of that is I would say, you know, a lot of these statistics are so general where they need to get a little bit deeper into mm-hmm. what the statistic is. Because if you got a woman at a position and a man at a position, right, um, maybe that woman didn't go straight into the workforce after school. You know, maybe she started a family and um, got her degree later. Although she's in the same position, the work history is not equivalent to the man's, which is why the pay grade is a little different. But statistics don't go into it that deep uh, because a lot of women do, you know, have families, stay home, whereas the men a lot of times are out there Mm -hmm. building their their resume, but don't with you that agree? Longer. I don't, don't really agree. That my that's still no? sexism. That's still <laughs> yeah. sexism to me. If, yeah. if, yeah. if, if yeah. she has the resume yeah. that the man has, and the only reason why she is not getting that position or not getting that pay is because yeah. she took some time off the work history, you know, or, or the work history, yeah. and she didn't jump right in because she had a child or raised a family, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's but if this if right. this if this guy has been into this field, let's say for ten years, right? Mm-hmm. She's she's just got her degree, right? Let's say maybe she just graduated or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. They're going into the same position. You've been in AV this long. Yeah, no, I, I completely. So understand that, that. that that that's where I think it, it. I'm just saying the statistic when they break it down, they're just looking at the surface because they're the mm-hmm. the way they roll it out mm-hmm. to society is oh, she has the same position as him. They're making slightly different, but sometimes it I is the I mean, same. Sometimes yeah, it, it sometimes you do have a resume. Yeah, it, it goes back. It's, to, it's not just it goes back to that, color you know, as yeah, well, yeah. where it's like you can have an African American and a white person, same resume, yeah. same, same school, job skills, same time, and somehow, some way, these white cats is getting jobs yeah, 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 or yeah, getting yeah. a higher pay than African Americans. And sometimes it is like that with the gender, where yeah. you do have. Same exact resume, same yeah. exact resume, but yep. somehow or another, it's more men getting the job. Think about this than the women from getting an the employer job. standpoint, right? Mm-hmm. This is just a business point. I'm not saying it's ethical, it's mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. but let's say you're an employer, you own a business, and you have an interview panel, and you you have a a, a guy that's qualified, you have a woman that's qualified. Mm-hmm. You're sitting with the woman, you're talking to her. She's qualified. Great. <clears throat> oh. Okay, um, 
you're looking to start a family, you know, in, in, in a few months, or maybe you're trying, you and your husband are trying to get pregnant or whatever it is, mm-hmm. you know, he might look at it like, I'm going to take this guy that's ready to go. And, yeah. and, and, and it, you could call it fucked up, but no, I mean, that's how he's gonna look. It at is it. fucked up, but you know, next, yeah, no, you know, but but it is, yeah. but, but it that, is. no. You know, I I, I completely at, agree with he's, you. He's gonna look at it like shit. She's I probably, feel like that is gonna be pregnant. Any part day. of the problem, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I I do feel that employers yeah. definitely look at males mm-hmm. in uh um an upper management role yeah. a lot quicker than they do females. I mean, Correct. you know. I hey I I, I don't even want to you know straight out ask yeah. you but you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. I'm like you know think about how you view a female boss you know in comparison to a male boss mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think there are a lot of men that have a lot of problems with which is another problem. looking at you know what I'm saying a, a female, female as yeah. my boss Dude, yeah. you know what I'm saying that's a wrong I, uh, yeah and it's completely to have. fucked up that's it should not happen to have, but yeah. I think there are still a lot of yeah. males that still. I mean, have a problem. I feel with even that. with the yeah. mama situation yeah. where you, know you know got white cats that rather a nigga tell them what to do than a than female a woman. telling them. But what then, to do. then even with that, there still is some some level of disrespect. It's like even when you know he was in the fucking you know when he had um addressed the Congress yeah. and that yeah. fucking motherfucker was like, yeah, you fucking <laughs> lie. They've never done that. To anybody yeah, else yeah, yeah, as yeah, the yeah. fucking president. Yep, and yep, yep. of course they did it to him because there's a level of disrespect. Like, mm-hmm. you're not my fucking president. I don't exactly. give a fuck if you stand exactly. it up there. Like, you are not my president. And I think that that still has a lot um, to do with, you know, women as well. I think yeah, there are, yeah, yeah. you know, there's still in this country, there's still... And Trump I mean, actually fuck, has man. a great, uh, you know, pregnancy leave, maternity leave plan. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's in his it, daughter. I mean? That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? You know I mean? His daughter. But, you know... You have to think about, and this is what, you know, I, I was just talking to my boys at work about this. Um, you have to still think about that it was only what, like, the late 60s, early mm-hmm. 70s, mm-hmm. where women fucking got all of their fucking rights. Like, yeah. just at yeah. the same time yeah. as we did. No, for You know real. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, in, yeah. you know, late 60s, early 70s, yeah, yeah. they were still fucking fighting for their rights. Like, they were still looked at Not as ago, women, you know, you had to work? be in the house. Yeah. You don't work. Yeah. You raise the family. Yep. You yep. do not. You could only be like a secretary. You, a you teacher, can't be, yeah, a, a teacher, nurse. Yeah, a nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you couldn't I mean, be any of this shit. A lot, a lot of you know this what I'm shit, though, a lot of this shit is just America stigmas and ideology, if you think yeah, about it. Yeah, that's the all whole, it is. Having a fear of having a woman ball. Exactly. Like, you know, I, I, I talk to my friends in Sweden, lyrical all the time, and, you know, we They talk, feel uh, different. I just had. They done had I women had prime ministers. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I we just, one of the only countries that still that hasn't even had have one. Check this out. Uh-huh. Even, when, even when you think about like maternity leave, mm-hmm. I mean, America has a false masculinity yes. stigma on men, mm-hmm. where it's like men fear they feel fearful mm-hmm. to take their leave. They mm-hmm. feel like it, it reflects a lack of commitment. Yes, to the company. Right. yes. They feel that it reflects, um, uh, you know, like that. You didn't have the baby. Why you got to take you, gotta, yeah. much, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's just false stand. Like, you know what I mean? Go to work. The American rap yes. race. Fucking mm. team no sleep. All this, yes. this <laughs> You know what I mean? So, it, you know, it's one of those things. But even with my company being being a manager myself, mm-hmm. it was a big deal for me to, you know, be, they called me into the office, you know, with, with some of the upper, upper management. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we, we, we what the fuck? We heard you're taking six weeks off. <laughs> you know what I mean? And my and my thing was I hadn't even told anybody I was taking six weeks off. Oh. It was I I just contacted HR, like yeah. getting information on what is the mm-hmm. process, what am I eligible for? Yeah. You know, this, that, and the third. And she was telling me that I could take the six weeks. Mm-hmm. And I guess HR had to let the general manager know. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? He had to let the director know and all that. Oh, and I'm like, oh, you know, uh, you know, he might be taking six weeks off. They call me into the office. Right. They got like other trying to get in front yeah, of that. They got shit. they got they got other managers in there. Fucking, he's like you. You know, so and so. He just had a baby. He took three days off. Fuck that, and, nigga. you know. Uh, and then another another nigga was in the office. Like, you know, how I many days I took off when I had my baby. Uh, one day, you know. I'm like, that's, that's good for y'all, yeah, man. You know good what I mean? You, man. And they're trying me. to like, you know. It's one of those things where it's a pro and a con because obviously you're a commodity within yeah, the company, but it's also true. bullshit too because it's yeah, corporate bullshit. It is, it is. And it's like, 
you know, I'm like, I don't know, niggas. I ain't telling you niggas how many weeks I'm taking off. <laughs> I'll let you know when I make no, the decision. Yeah, you know I what I mean? It. So but this is what I'm yeah, supposed to get. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is what she, the HR lady was telling me I'm yep. eligible for. I didn't yep. tell her eligible no decisions for. yet. Yeah. I said, thank yeah. you for the information. I just got the fucking paperwork yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas is grilling me. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't feel the paperwork yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't feel the paperwork out. You know what I mean? So, I may take a day like I may, that. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But so it's let me make that decision. Exactly. So it just... It just reinforces that, um, you know, and and really within the office, I was kind of looking like a hero, even being a manager too, mm-hmm. where it was like, damn, you know, this motherfucker is really going to take six weeks off. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck them niggas, you know what I mean? Real, man. And that's really what it's it is. Like, My thing this is, look, is a right. Yeah, Why this is a right. Yeah. I'm about to bond with my son, yeah. fam. I'm about yeah, to bond with my man. family. Like, fuck you niggas, you know I'm what I mean? Sorry, At the end of the day, real, you can you know I mean? get this time yeah. back. And that's why I don't like it when they get on women for it. Yeah, this yeah. is exactly. something that they can't get back. Correct. No, you know what I mean? Correct. We can talk all day. Yeah. I mean, let's keep it real, man. As a man, my daughter would do fine yeah. if my ass ain't there the whole mm-hmm. few months of her birth. Yeah, of course. Her her life. Of you know course. What I'm this is she needs that mom. Nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, granted, I want. I took my time off as well. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to bond with my daughter. Absolutely. But I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say. Yeah. My presence is more than the mother, and mm-hmm. you know, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Or I'm equal, or whatever. So. Like you said, man, it's a fucked up situation that yeah. a woman should even have to explain why she mm-hmm. wants to have that Correct. time with her daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or have for one, if a for one, if a company even comes at a woman about, oh, you want to start a family, you want to do this, you need to take your ass to a lawyer Real quick, fast, in a hurry. They're Real not shit. even supposed to ask you that type yeah. of shit. Yeah, yeah. But by the same token, it's like anything else, man. Yeah. You understand. Just as in me being an African American, I understand there's going to be some shit thrown up against me as being an African American. That fair, unfair, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I've made the talk with my son. My son, well, that's unfair. I should be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's great for you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line, this is the country you, you live in. Yeah. Don't let Obama get you fucked up out here. Real shit. The world has not changed that you get a damn t-shirt. much. Yeah. Don't let Obama get you <laughs> fucked up Obama out here. Don't let Obama get you fucked up <laughs> out here, man. Yeah. And it's and a and and world a, out here. A, a statistic that I would like to put out there also that um, breaks the whole gender um, you know, ideology and the geographic and all that stuff is that if you take... Um, a black family household um, with the same education as a, as a white family, they actually earn more income than the white family. Where is uh, that shit at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with look, the, that's the we got to pull that shit up. Yeah. I don't believe that shit. You don't believe that shit? I'm calling bullshit on that shit. <laughs> We're going to pull that shit up. Man. I do not believe that, that shit. shit I do not believe that shit because I feel like black folks, no matter what, is yeah. going to earn a lot less than white folks do. Word. It's it's never equal. It's a different tier. And I'm a nigga with a white girl. (laughs) (laughs) It's a different tier. I believe you... I mean, if a a white person has a bachelor's degree... Yeah. For a brother to compete with 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 (laughs) them. For a brother... That's the other... That's the the podcast in parentheses. Yeah, yeah, it's another podcast. One brother, brother, nigga and a white girl. Yeah, (laughs) nigga and a white girl. Get out. You have got to... (laughs) Get get out. Get out. Get out. (laughs) (laughs) You have got to have a master's to me Mm. to compete on a level with a, a Caucasian... With a bachelor's, you've got to have more. If if, if a white person only has a, mm-hmm. a high school diploma, yeah, I better have a, a, a associates Word. if I want to do more than what he has. You know what I'm saying? I've never and I've been out here a pretty long time. I don't want to age myself out. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I I guess like for me, man, I I, I don't know. I just speak from my experience. You know, and you um, from another my, generation. My, my experience is that. What I've seen in all the corporate positions that I've had, even in the management position now, um, you know, being with Wells Fargo previously, thrown in as a banker with no experience, you know, where usually you got to go in as a teller. Um, I mean, these are just financial positions that I've had, especially being in management now. Um, 
I don't have any college background. I don't have any degrees. Mm-hmm. I don't have any education like that. And I see myself alongside white folks who do have it. So that's just my experience from what I've seen. Yeah. And I, I think I think that a lot of it has had to do with, you know, I, don't get me wrong. I think if a brother does get in there, he is expected to do more mm-hmm. and he's more on the chopping block easier. Yeah. If that nigga slip up and, <laughs> yeah. you know, he, he could probably get low, get let go quicker. But I think mm-hmm. it all it has to do with just um, the value you build within the company. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the mouthpiece and just selling yourself. Let me and, ask and, you though. What's up? How many brothers was up in that top level when you were working at Wells Fargo? At Wells Fargo? Yeah. Um, actually, uh, one of the brothers was actually a mentor of mine. His name was Prince. Uh, shout, out, shout out to Prince, man. Real, real shout shout out, out to the one brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the, <laughs> the one brother. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, I was a part of, and maybe I should not blast them. But, you the, know thing, what I'm but the thing is, but that's was, the issue. Is it is it the company or is it not enough? No, no, yeah. And I'm, I'm not saying that it's totally the company. Yeah. I'm not saying it, that it's totally the yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that I feel that it's tough that... It's only natural if you are like if there's like a gang of white folks that are, you know what I'm saying, doing well, like, you know, they come up in the company and shit like that, for you to yeah. feel like, oh yeah, they deserve this. Then when the one nigga come up in there, <laughs> you just lowball them, like, ah, I don't I'm not sure if he deserves this, so let me start him at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you you get well, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. So if, oh no no so, no! Believe well, me. Well, if a brother and, and, comes and, and, in, and I feel if, that if a he brother comes in on some happy to be here shit. No, you know what I mean. But see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like that's almost how we are. That's what I'm saying. You know so what I'm saying? Is, but that, that's that's why it's hard for it's me a little to believe. Bit of both. It's a yeah, but that's why it's hard for me to believe the statistic that yeah yeah yeah, yeah a yeah, brother yeah. that is. Equally the same, educated. yeah, equally educated as a white yeah, dude. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. when we come into the situation, we just like, man, happy I'm just here. fucking happy to be here. I'm yep. happy that you guys are well, giving we won't me even negotiate opportunity. The salary. We're like, it's a white dude that's coming in this motherfucking cocky. Like, the fuck, fuck, or my don't have to have the mouth so and so. You know, or what don't have like, to have the mouth people. Yeah. And, and, and do you think you would have got the position because you didn't have the grad, the the academics? As the white cats, if you didn't have the mouthpiece, if oh you no! Didn't come as in, a brother, you I mean, you you have to. The have odds, that. the odds are against you. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have. So you if gotta you have don't the have the education, yeah. you better have Correct. the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. You have absolutely. white cats that have the education, no mouthpiece, but yeah. luckily for them, they do have. Yeah. These, yeah. you know, what I'm saying yeah. these these extracurricular situations Correct. that allow them to get in there. So uh, as a black, yeah. you better if you don't have that. I think you need. I think it's it, 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 the. the both is the, the well, double to me, threat. Uh, to me, as a can't black, just have, you can't just have to me as an African nah, American, you know I mean? especially as an African American. If you think you're gonna just go in there with a bachelor's and oh, then yeah. you the walking paper, in there getting it, and you ain't thing. got no, you ain't got no mouthpiece. Yeah, you're you not have gonna to have get a mouthpiece. That's another dynamic. But then again, to that's it. the you beauty of African Americans that we do. We know how to finesse it. We know how to finesse it. Mm-hmm. We, we learned we, that's we've how we get it. We had to. Yeah, absolutely. You're not walking in no job. Interview, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think I should get the motherfucking job. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wu Tang for the kids, nigga. Nigga. Hey, no, nigga. Hey, word up, yo! Yeah, shut no. out the West Side Gun, yo, nigga. Son. I yeah. know I work hard, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm he go, he, I'm a work hard. He go up in there like Donald Glover, right? you know what I'm saying? You know, this ain't got nothing to do with the interview. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the motherfucking Migos, yeah. nigga. <laughs> we understand. For Shout us, out to the motherfucking Migos. Migos nigga. Bad and boozy, Just because it's the best song ever. But yeah, I'm qualified. Yes. yes. Blacks, we realize you better know both sides of it. And I believe that is how we're able to maneuver so well because we understand you can't just be ghetto and ghetto skits. Yeah, ghetto re- yeah. You go in there with these folks, you better be able to get in there and speak like they speak. I mean, you're that, not gonna get just, it. for white folks, they don't have to worry about yeah. that aspect. And that's what I get because sometimes when I get these cats that pull me to the side, you know, I had this happen Wells Fargo, you know, the last final institutions, financial institutions mm-hmm. I work for now at Nissan, uh, you know, automobile industry, but I, 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 I see a pattern of, and I don't know if it's just, 
they want to say, how did the nigga get it? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm always the guy where it's like, you know, how you got in here never yeah. happens like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, they don't just throw bankers no. down on the floor as a banker. You got to go yeah. as a teller, right. yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or they're not just going to start you as a manager in the fleet department at Nissan mm-hmm. with no management experience. Mm-hmm. We've had the same five guys here mm-hmm. for 30 years, 15 years, 12 right. years. Right. You know, you're a special case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I don't know if in their parentheses is... We never thought a nigga would be in yeah. here. <laughs> or, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. But it's like... And it, I even... You know, because I'm, I feel like I'm at a cusp of both sides. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel where you guys are coming from, and I know our history. I, mm-hmm. I know where, where black people, the oppression that we've came from, and how we have to have that gift to gab, that mouthpiece mm-hmm. where it's fucked up. You know what I mean? But then on the same token, I see like the shit that's going on, and believe me, you know, uh, you know, it's 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 uh. It's still puppet shit that goes on in this yeah. corporate America oh, shit. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? Yeah. It's still Don't get me you wrong. Know I, who you blow. Yeah, yeah. You know it's what I mean? You know but, but it's like, but it, 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 but it offers. I, I, I always yeah. think in my head, like, you know, I don't want to make it all you know, grim. You know what I'm you saying? You know what I mean? But, but it, know. I, I just think, like, you know, maybe it is just a mouthpiece. You just I'm blessed. Smarter. You know what I mean? You know, I'm able to talk, talk, and tell myself. And I mean, and as far as even with your music, with your rapping, you you a hard worker. So for me. Watching my brother, of course, as we discussed before, I may be a little biased, Word. but I know how hard of a worker my brother is. Thank you. So, by the same token, I don't know if that's something you purposely do, knowing that, okay, I don't have the education yeah, these other yeah, yeah, yeah. have, Absolutely. or is it just something just as in your DNA yeah, to work yeah, yeah, hard yeah. Correct. and go at it, you Correct. know what I'm saying, to make it happen? DNA. But, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah. I'm knowing that you work hard. You're gonna work hard work. than the at work harder than the average cat. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when, when you you're back when you against get the wall, you something, got, you got yeah, no choice. When you yeah. get something, you're able to do that. And I think that's the difference between a brother and the quote unquote white privilege who don't believe they have to work as hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I or admit, know they don't gotta yeah, work. Yeah, no, they don't have to work. But I admit, you know, my son has to sometimes bring me down because I am one of them. Conspiracy theorists that think every damn thing is black, <laughs> everything is white. Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. get this because, and I have to realize it is a different age in some degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I yeah. tell my son, okay, yes, it has changed to some degree. Correct. But by the same token, some things haven't changed. Oh yeah, a lot hasn't changed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I do feel when you say it's equal, then that means Daniel yeah. doesn't yeah. have to work as hard. It's not to get equal. where he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I say, well, they, Daniel got his because it's a fair system and... No. 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 Daniel has got what he's got because he has worked, I don't want to say harder than white folks, but smarter. he has worked hard and he's yeah, worked yeah. smarter. This and I think you like... do believe that you know because I am not as educated as maybe some of these yeah, dudes, yeah, 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 yeah. that I do have to work yeah. on. I know it in my, correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Situation and you know what I'm saying, and, and being in the work environment, that I do have to work harder because I don't have, yeah. And I don't give a damn if it's yeah. black, white, Asian, correct. whoever. Yeah, yeah. I don't have this. I have the experience more than a lot of yeah. people, yeah. but we already know that don't mean shit, especially yeah. now in these days yeah. and time. Yeah. They want the education, which is why your boys going back to school. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> work, work. You know what I'm saying? It, that is the world we live in. But, you know, it, it, it still, to me, goes back to working hard. And I yeah. believe Ant has got what he's gotten because he's worked hard. And it makes you sometimes, as as corporate or whoever you want to put in there, overlook situations where, okay, yeah, he's African-American. Okay, yeah, he may not have the yeah. education that the other cats have, but... We gonna put them in the. We gonna put them in the Give situation. Give them a shot. You know, it, it, and it gets to the point where it's like you get leverage on your resume to where it don't even matter no more because they can see the phone going off. Man, who that is, man? <laughs> and that wifey, man. Yeah, no, no doubt. No, man. Right. We record, man. We record. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. We record, man. You know what I mean? And, and and when you do, all you need is that one cat to give you that shot to where you can put that on your resume. Yeah, that's all. And and then you can leverage it from there because it's like okay. And if I ever leave this position in Nissan, I've got so much leverage where I could go mm-hmm. into, you know, so many higher positions mm-hmm. uh, within being a fleet and finance manager. It's like Nissan is a big ass company. So 
um, having that leverage is just it just broadens the resume even more to where it don't even fucking matter about the education no more yeah. because you see my last three positions. Yeah, you these, see I'm able. With, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but now let me ask you something now because this is something that I've encountered. Yo, being in corporate. Yeah. Does it seem that the white cats will give you more of a a chance to do something than the black cats? Wow. You know, the because Uncle Tom I, ass yeah, niggas. I you know, been um, given more yeah. chances as far as going up the corporate ladder with yeah. white folks I than I have that. with my well, own brother. Well, the other issue is how many brothers are at the corporate ladder? Well, that's, that's top two to pull that's you that's up. True. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, then again, it, get, it gets scary for him because it's like... yeah. You get, and it's kind of like the Obama situation where yeah. I feel where like Obama was in the White House and it was like, well, I don't want to be too black. Yeah. Because yeah. then yeah, white yeah. folks. I don't want to sing Al Green for the last, yeah. the last term. Yeah. I can't sing Al Green yet. Yeah. I got to yeah. get in. I don't know if I'm really ready to bring <laughs> niggas. I, yeah. I got to save fucking Al Green. Yeah. I got to wait to the third term. Yeah. Yeah. I got to wait for, you know, you know um, I, I've had a lot of uh, great mentors in my life at different companies. Um, uh, I, I, I've had upper management. African American men take me under their wing and and um, show me the ropes of different things and you know uh, one of my mentors who's actually um, a very successful very successful in the mortgage industry with Wells Fargo was trying to get me to go that route and was willing to put me under his wing um, and he edified me to his uh, district manager and was and, and actually like negotiated getting me because um, typically when you transfer into the mortgage industry. Uh, within Wells Fargo, um, they take your training wheels off and you you don't get it's full commission. So they were actually willing to cover what I was making as a banker for three months while I figured shit out and was under his wing and learned the the mortgage industry and then they would take the training wheels off and from there I would be up you know going running and going. Right. Um, shout shout out to Ron Smith, a great brother. I uh, still call him every now and then for for mentorship and just advice. Um, I actually didn't end up going that route. I I, I I didn't go into the mortgage route with Wells Fargo. I went over to Nissan. Um, but me and him, you know, still got a cool relationship. Right. I just respectively went a different route. But, you know, th- these are just uh, some of the African-American men that I've dealt with and encountered that I feel um, have helped shape some of my corporate, you know, uh, resume and just uh, journey. You know what I mean? And that's a beautiful um, thing. And I think that's what's needed. And that's what gives you a different outlook than, yeah. per se, maybe me, yep. as far as being in logistics type of situations yeah. where, granted, as we spoke earlier, no, it's not a lot of African Americans. To pull us up. To yeah. pull us up. But when there was that time to pull yeah. me up, yeah. it was always the competition. Yeah. Yep. And for me, the mentors get me into management and have me in management. Yeah. Was always white folk. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's disheartening, you know, when you see it, you know. Um, but then at the same token, it's always beautiful to hear yeah. from your situation yeah. 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 where um, you need to hear that. And especially for me, because like I said, I can get on this yeah. soapbox all the time and speak about, well, I got this and I've done this and yeah. niggas don't want to yeah. give me a chance, blah, blah, Correct. blah. Correct. You know, but. Um, it's such a fucking gray area when you talk You know, about it, stuff, it, it really is, man. I mean, I think that uh, it really just, everybody comes across different people in life. It doesn't always have to negate to a statistic or a concrete study that, okay, <laughs> just because I had a, a, a black, you know, brother help me out doesn't mean that shit is all right yeah. within... Yeah. You know, I mean, that's this is just how I've and, and what I've encountered, and you know what God has placed in on my life with different paths. Have all of my mentors have been brothers? No, you know what I mean. Um, it, 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 you know, there's different creeds and and, and 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 walks of life that I think God puts in your life, and you can learn from different people. You know, different um, races, different different races, age yeah. groups. Um, I think Genders, that's a problem, everything. especially yeah. with the older generation. It's like yeah, you don't think yeah. a young cat can put you up on game. Yeah, you know, what yeah. I'm saying? Right. young so, guys can put you up on game. Where we at? So we're about 50, 52 minutes in this. So this is our topic for this show. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, you know, 
So, I, I, I do have a couple of things I want to Well, hit it up, because I, I know yeah. we didn't jump way Yeah, I didn't. Far. Yeah, we like <laughs> way, <laughs> we way far. This is an exclusive episode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exclusive. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah you exclusive know I mean? episode. Yeah. So first of all, um, me coming from uh, a, a segment of the job or business market that is not a lot of brothers in, like, <laughs> whatsoever. Like, yeah. I think I can count on my hand how many brothers that I've actually worked with. Um, yep. It's even something that I was like very happy to see um, Ava DuVernay speak about when she had made 13. She was like, you know, our production company, like, you know, we like trying to, in, in, you know, employ more black folks, you know, um, because there are not a lot of black men, even though it's like a little bit yeah. further away from where I'm at. You know, there's not a lot of black people in the... Uh, in in the back, you know, out of the movie business, right. you know, yep. Yep. lighting, gaffers, directors, uh, photography, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. stuff like that. Like she was like, we trying to crew up, and you know, there's like no They're black people there. in the crew. Yeah. You know, a lot of it has to do with the old adage of like, you know, the fucking unions, you know, hooking up their friends, you yep. know what I'm saying, yep. and stuff like that. So you know, it, it you know, because basically, like in that movie union, you know, if you don't know somebody. It's hard for you to get in because you got to work like a certain amount of hours right. in order to get your union card yeah, and all yeah. kind of other bullshit. Who you know and blow. Yeah, who? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all it is. <laughs> so I, I really don't, um, you know, see a lot of black folks um, in the upper management. Um, so it, it's definitely always been apparent to me that whenever I go on a crew, like I'm the only brother. That does uh, happen, the token brother. Yeah, I'm um, you know, <laughs> definitely the token there. brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never felt like I needed to um, you know, like, oh, you know, I gotta represent for the brothers, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I was just so kinda in tune in like, I wanna fucking be this, you know. Like when I yeah. first started in AV, I was like, I wanna be a technical director. So I need to learn all this shit. Like, you know, I didn't need to learn it. Like, to being comparison to, like, you know, a white dude or whatever. It was just like, I need to learn this shit because the motherfuckers who are our technical directors, like, know all this shit. So, right. I need to learn all this shit. Yeah. You know, um, but it is a little disheartening where you don't see, you know what I'm saying? You know, see a, lot a lot of, of yeah, a lot of folks, I you go. know what I'm saying? They yeah. It's very, I mean, and, and even people would bring it up to me, like, right. oh, shit, look. Damn, <laughs> we got yeah. a brother. We got a brother up in this motherfucker. Yeah, a brother up in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and even when I did the whole like, um, and sometimes like you know people like you know still see a lot of that shit. When I did the whole photo shoot yeah. for my previous company uh, for their marketing material, oh, yeah, I like they that still shit. use all yeah, that, shit. that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh shit, like I see you on the marketing materials. I'm yeah. like, yeah, they gotta have the one token brother so they can like show that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, we we the equal action, opportunity we all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> equal opportunity. So, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? You know, so but 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 it's very sad when you don't see that. Um, but there was one point that I wanted to make about the whole school thing. Um, coming back to, to coming to that, all yeah, all the way, the way back. Around. I know we like it, it all goes full circle. <laughs> yeah. I kept thinking about. It, I better say it before I fucking forget it. But this all goes um, back to the culture. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. This is all yeah. culture yeah. because. You know, if the schools is fucked up, then our kids aren't learning and, you know, our culture is fucked up. And then next thing you know, in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have a bunch of people that are like, oh, hip hop fucking ruining, you know, the schools and yep. the inner cities and the ghettos and everything else. But like, y'all motherfuckers need to be responsible for the schools as well. Real you know shit. what I'm saying? Real, Real talk. Shit. So, um... There was one thing, and it's what I, I want to get y'all's take on this. There's one thing that I read that is probably highly controversial. Um, and, you know, when, when I was reading, of course, like, you know, and, man, y'all motherfuckers out there don't, like, try to, like, fucking slap it. <laughs> like, oh, nigga, shit, it said it wrong, you know. I, I can't remember. I think, like, when, you know, 2016, like, when the results came out, like, the USA was like maybe like number twenty six and like fucking, you know the um, um where we ranked in you know um our kids and schools yeah math uh, and science and um you know like 
the last couple of years, you know, of course, we've always been ranked low. And, like, that shit really bothered me. And I was like, you know, who's fucking number one? And it was, like, really sad. I think, like, in 2015, like, Vietnam was ranked number two. And I'm like, fucking Vietnam? Like, it's a fucking third world country, damn near. Like, why the yeah. fuck are they so high yeah. in schools? Uh, yeah. And who has been, you know, like, number one, like, back and forth for, like, the last couple of years has been Finland and Singapore. Mm. And I was like, you know, I started like reading about these. Yeah, people. I was yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck are they doing the, over what's there? The like, here? Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. why are they? The you know, is? yeah, like why are the kids doing so damn great in yeah. this shit? And one thing that was very interesting about Singapore was that their school system runs on the merit system, which is completely um, very controversial, and a lot of people are talking about it because. In Singapore, what they do is they're put, for lack of a better word, I can't remember what they call it, but they they put their students in lanes. Mm -hmm. So if a student is going in elementary school and, like, by the time, like, they take their exit elementary school test, if they've, like, you know, tested kind of low, like, Mm -hmm. oh, that's what it is. They put them in tracks. Mm -hmm. They may put them in the track, let's just say track number one, Yep. Where it's like, okay, you're not the brightest cat, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're probably not going to be a fucking doctor or brain <laughs> surgeon or something yeah. like that, but you still feel a need in society. Like, you know, Work. more than likely, you know, you're going to be a mechanic or, Damn. you know, a welder. They're telling niggas they're going to be a mechanic. Yeah. So this is why it's controversial. Damn. This is why it's controversial. Book of yeah. You might be the trash Yeah. yeah. You, you know might work saying? for the trash Yeah, company. you may. Yeah. But you'll have a place. This is why it's, this is why it's highly controversial. Mm-hmm. You know, so Successful, it's like, yes. okay, we, 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 we're going to put you in this track because we see that you are not the upper echelon of... You know, the smart cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. but you still feel a need in society and you still, when you get the fuck out of school, you still need to have a marketable skill. Mm-hmm. Mm. You still have to have that. You have to have something that is going to bring you into the job market and make you lucrative. Oh, if you're, you right know, there. high on there, then it's like, Okay, you wanted the fucking track. You wanted the fucking smart motherfuckers. We're going to put you over here with the, the crazy scientists, mm-hmm. with the, you know, the, the mad students. Like, this is going to be your track. So, like, yeah. the classes you take now are, like, in this track. And we are going to feed that because you've already showed that. I, I would say, for lack of a better words, you've already showed that, you know, if we put you in this like easy shit, like it's gonna be boring for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we need to put you on this track to be, you know, the motherfuckers that's like doing the shit. Yeah. You know, track two is like the motherfuckers like in the middle row. We don't quite know where you're okay. gonna be at. So we're not gonna give you the crazy shit, but we're gonna give you, you know, something that's like in your lane. Setting them up for success, perhaps. Exactly. And that's what they feel. Like people have like fucking, you know, talked about, you know. Well, you know, it, it's fucked up because Johnny, who didn't score like really high, like you kind of telling them, like you said, <laughs> you're gonna be a fucking welder, you know, you're gonna be a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a doctor because you score, you're not, yeah, you're not really that smart, you know what Step, I'm saying? You, so, you're gonna be this, your but, scores ain't up. but are we like being bitch motherfuckers to niggas in this country? Were we telling them, like, you could be all you could be, but really, motherfucker, you're not really there. Yeah, you're not true. really there. That's Everybody real fits in that's one lane shit. in this shit. Now, I'm not saying that... And these are impoverished countries, Yeah, the only thing that's fucked country. up, you know what I'm saying, is that if you, you know... And I'm not saying that you can't get there, you know what I'm saying? But this is what you show right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say some shit that, you know, my wife would probably kill me for. But it's kind of like... I'm going through the same shit with my stepdaughter. Yeah. Like, I yeah. told my wife the other yeah. day, she's like, well, you know, I really, you know, she's doing fucked up in fucking high school. Like, she barely wants to fucking go to school. She's getting D's and all this fucked up shit. And I, I told her, I was like, because she was like, you don't worry about Lexi going to college. And I was like, I think you need to come to the grips of what's really going on here and that 
Lexi is probably not going to go to college. And even if she was going to go to college, she's not going to go for very long and she's not going to do very good. That Singapore because, article. Yeah, fucking exactly. <laughs> that, that nigga said, real. I'm about to adapt yeah, that mentality. I'm about to adapt that You're going to be a motherfucking you know, welder. Track yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're going on track two. We're going go, to put you, you know on track two. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Because you're not you're on track three. You're almost on the cusp for three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Because I'm like. At this point, you, you might be at the Ralph. Yeah, you may be at the Ralph. You got to look at that fact. That yeah. you know what? Damn. If you if you keep putting pressure on her, that is like you need to fucking go to you know college and you know, do this and, and her head is not there, then I think like at this point she's a fucking junior in high school. Mm. You know you a little late on you know trying to, if she's not there, <laughs> there. Yeah. then. I think she going she gonna be on she gonna be on that other track. Like she not going she's not gonna be she well, showed America, that she doesn't like school. Yeah. You know what I'm America saying? America does that. I yeah. Mean, we, have we try to fucking make people, you know. Singers that wanna jump in and, and think they're gonna be Mariah Carey. Yeah. They don't sound shit like Mariah. You know damn well yep. they're not gonna make it. Yep. But yep. And, and, and the fucking kids statistics. in sports that yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everybody oh, let's get everybody like your trophy. No, oh, man, man, nigga, you a loser. I'm sorry, dog. No, you don't get a the, fucking trophy. Yeah, to get your fucking you trophy up. <laughs> you don't get no fucking trophy, nigga. You were not a trophy number one. Knock yeah, the trophy like, out the kid. That shit is not cool. You know and I know it's not very cool yeah. for people to say that shit, but, but it is, it's, it's real. real. Statistics show, too, with America, we're like 26 in the sciences and everything. Mm -hmm. But we're number one with the kids believe that they're best. Very true. I read that oh. very well. We got that, that belief system. Motherfuckers believe, we believe like, that they're a lot American better dream. than what they are. American dream. They think like, oh yeah, shit, I'm the shit. Oh yeah, I'm wow. number one in that. No, you not, nigga. No, you not. Yeah, that's crazy, man. And I that mean, is crazy. It's like I read that how, shit yeah. and I was it's like, like, how do you get wow. that? Wow. How do you get that? That's you an interesting formula that are they're hella horrible in test scores. Yeah. But yeah, you believe. But you like, believe. I, mean, I, I, I think, you know, like me and Les was talking about this uh, the other day too. I think anytime that you have, um, not even just society, but if you have a group of people whose back is against the wall, their resources are stripped from stripped from them, that it brings out the best in people. Oh, yeah, it does. Right, where, you know, slavery. Yeah, slavery. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it just brings out the best in people. And, you know, you think about war. You're in war. You're not yeah. worried about if the motherfucker running with you is black, white. Yeah, you know, it's not You're just like, yo, we trying to survive. <laughs> yeah. We trying to live. You got you know my back, I mean? then you exactly. my man. I got you know your back. Mean? Yeah. You, you at war, so it's, you know, yeah. prison. You know what I mean? You got yeah, folks who feel thing. like they've met some of the most brilliant people in the prison mm -hmm. system. You know what I mean? Right. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're stripped from the outside world. You're stripped from abundance of, of, of resources and access to everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it brings out the best of people mentally. Mm -hmm. Me and Les was talking about that. Yeah. So uh, I think in some of these impoverished areas of third world countries where, once again, it's, it's, it's kind of that same yeah. thing that applies. Where it's like we don't got all the shit that you motherfuckers have, yeah. so we got to excel in this. Yeah, you know. I mean, I we think don't... about that. What if we were to able to go, you know, what I'm saying to the inner cities of Chicago? I mean, and I don't know. I don't know if it's horrible to like think of the fact that. I mean, but like put them in you know, tracks. <laughs> yeah, like you yeah. know, saying to put them in tracks, but like you know, when I think about it, I'm like, even in those impoverished areas. I'm sorry, like it's just like even like Venus and Serena coming out of Compton and mm. dominating, and you know what I'm saying. There, there's always oh, there's some there's always yeah, there's stories always of kids who fucking were in the inner city and got like a full ride scholarship yeah. and excelled, absolutely, and fucking did well. But then there's the nigga that is fucking acting up that is not really doesn't really give a shit about school. You know what I'm saying. Not going to, you know, you got to face the fact. Like, this nigga's not going to college. Everybody's He's not, not doing shit. You Take know that man? nigga trophy yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> Take that nigga trophy yeah. back and be like, you know what? I know school you do not love. You do not yeah. enjoy. But you know what? You still can serve, uh, you know, uh, you know, a purpose in society. And teach kids and, about and, taxes. What yeah, the fuck? you know what I'm saying? Niggas get out of school and not know yeah, shit about taxes. They don't taxes, even know man. shit. They don't even you know how to tell them? time on a clock yeah. without numbers. Exactly. Wow. And so then you like, like wow. you couldn't tell time yeah. on the regular clock so without numbers. So then you numbers. need to like put them on the <laughs> I need a track. digital watch. Nigga, where my yeah. digital watch? Where my phone at? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. That's like, hey, you know what? This is the track that you need to go into. But that's you know what, what I'm saying? Um, me like, and wifey was just talking about. And I'm like, Where? Singapore is like number yeah. one. Like them in Finland, like almost every fucking year. The that's school the system to me is a corporate is 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 foul with that too. Where it's mm -hmm. like 
this is what they push only college. Yeah, college, yeah, college. yeah, yeah. We were just talking about how. Very true. Where's the job centers at the school yep. anymore? I remember when yeah. I went to no, school, that's, how, that's how I got my first job, yep. was the job yep. center. Get your experience. You know what I'm saying? They R-O-P. helped me get my first job. Um, even a year after I got out of school, mm-hmm. I went back to the job center, and they helped me get Damn. a job again. There is no job centers no more, because but, now the school pushes higher education. But, and granted, I'm with that. I'm with higher education, mm-hmm. but like we said before... Everybody is not built for higher education. So yeah. to push this on somebody, yep. you're not giving them any nah. other alternatives yeah. other than, well, shit, if I don't go to college, what the fuck else is there for me out there? But I wonder if they're not pushing the job centers because... So I, I, I read another you know, very, very good article where they were speaking about you know, of course, the problem with millennials and them, um, you know, for one, you know, having a really tough time in the job market and then speaking about the Rust Belt and everything else, yeah. where in today's age, mm-hmm. you have to have some type of skill. It, it, this is not like fucking 88 <laughs> and, you know, 91 where... You can like work in a warehouse, work in a steel mill, work in a fucking mine, yeah. you know, <laughs> shit like Ooh. that. Yeah. I mean, you even competing. I mean, I'm going to do that with my compete. son. You know what I'm saying? I think like, when we were young, nigga, there wasn't no 20, 30, 40 year old nah, working at McDonald's. Dude, it was not, you know what I mean? You man. weren't competing against them dudes. Yeah, you were competing you were with not, another 16, man. 17 yeah, year old so you can get in cat. the game. Yeah, you know, but it is a different right time now, man. Knows. Like there are they not those jobs there. anymore. Where you know, and they 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 had the statistic where you know back like in you know you know um the eighties, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying or whatever, where you know a kid coming out of high school with a high school diploma, you know, could still you know make like you know thirty forty grand, you know. Working at some plant, you know, manufacturing, you know what I'm saying? All the different jobs, that, that shit, all that hey, shit is gone now. That shit is dead. That man. shit is not in the USA now. That shit. Your boy is going to back. The fuck him. <laughs> Your boy is bringing him back. It's not coming back. Big it's never said fucking, he bringing him back. Yeah, <laughs> he bringing him back. It's never <laughs> coming back. I mean, it, it, that shit is in in China and India. Yeah, Mexico. and it will never come back <laughs> because let me. Yeah. Let me let me tell you, no matter how much the nigga want to say that he bringing fucking jobs back, <laughs> that he's keeping jobs here, you know, anybody that's in business is going to go towards anything that is profitable for their business. Period. Period. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, them niggas don't care. Like, oh, made in the USA. Like, ah, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> made in the USA if you're able to make it happen in the USA. But if... You know, the China man come over and he like, hey, man, we can make this shit for you for half the fucking cost. Like, yeah. they going over to China. Yeah. They going over to India, Bangladesh, mm-hmm. Vietnam, yeah. all that shit. Like, the manufacturing jobs is gone. They not fucking They're coming, not coming back, back, man. And if They're they not do not come coming back, back, they're coming back. Low wage. Yes. You can't make a I mean, living extremely off that shit anyway. low wage. One thing about the manufacturing industry, though, I mean, and this is happening currently in the mm-hmm. banking industry, you see that uh, eventually the tellers are going to be obsolete. It's just going to be bankers. Oh, yeah, that's the other, other thing. Yeah. They're taking it all the uh, That's the other thing. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, we're. How many times do you get on the phone and you talk to an English yeah. and, you know, American? Yeah, you over there. And, yeah, man. And, 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 and tell me, why are those jobs being obsolete? Uh, the, the teller positions? Yeah. you think of that positions? Mm hmm. Well, you got to think the robot age is coming in. So okay, so and why is the robot age good? It's good for businesses. Exactly, it's, good for <laughs> yeah. businesses. it's profitable yeah. for business because you got to think if you labor if you, if is you, always the you know what I'm saying absolutely. me being a business person, it's labor business is move. always the number one. If you're a thing. small company, yeah. line. whether it's a small company or a large yeah. company, let's say you got the fight for fifteen shit going on with McDonald's, exactly. right? Mm-hmm. So McDonald's got to start paying niggas fifteen dollars, right? Mm-hmm. A kid straight out of high school, fifteen dollars, he's making mm-hmm. you know thirty k, whatever it is, mm-hmm. the same as someone else mm-hmm. who's been in the market a while, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, or let's say the smaller company where he's like, shit, 
I can't afford to pay all these motherfuckers fifteen dollars. Yeah. You know, I would rather get the fucking robot, which I think is going to eventually come to that. Robots going to be making our Big Macs and shit. You know what I mean? You know, it, if it, they can do it, they yeah, would. You know what I mean? If they can do it profitably, because Pro- the only yeah. thing is, I, I I would say is that I don't think that they look at it like, oh, I can't pay this motherfucker fifteen dollars. I think that they look at it like, shit. I gotta pay this motherfucker fifteen, but I could make this fucking robot do yeah. his same job. No, that, that's the whole point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because For it, less I mean, than that, I can't make a yeah. profit because paying this dude. because yeah. look at the profits of the McDonald's profit margin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. niggas is making money. They're making money every fucking yeah, absolutely. year. They billions pay of dollars. People fifteen. They can pay they can fifteen pay dollars. Absolutely. absolutely. But if the alternative, but if they can, is, but they still worried about that profit. Margin. They still worry about the profit. You know what I mean? They got. They have to make investors happy. They're a publicly traded company. If you know what I'm saying, if they're able to. Make bigger profits, Correct. then you got more investors, yep. more people yep. that are able to go ahead and break it to the pie. Damn, all, all they have to do—that's mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. any fucking public company, yeah. you know, yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. is going to do, man. It does Damn. not matter. They don't give a shit about, and unfortunately, that's the thing. They don't give a shit about really making, you know, American workers happy. No, nope. they give a shit about making. There, you know, what I'm saying the people that are yeah, their yeah, investors, investors happy, happy. the people investors. that are sitting in, you know, on their board, their chairman, yeah. you know, if, if they make, if they're able to make great Never profits, go back to the dollar, man. Yeah, it all goes back, go back to the to dollar, dollar, man. Yeah. And that's that's what people have to realize is that unfortunately, you know, what I'm saying that's just what's going to happen. If yeah. they can replace you with something that is cheaper, it's just like. I mean, companies have already done it for the longest. Like, yeah. I'm sure, you know, 20 years ago, yeah. there was more niggas that had to make a Big Mac in McDonald's than what there <laughs> is now. Oh, of yeah. course. It's, oh, yeah. But what yeah. happens, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? When they have to make lean cuts. Yeah. I saw that yeah. shit when I worked in the manufacturing plant. In the beginning, yeah. at Ball, they fucking had like, it was like all fucking a thousand of All kind of yeah, niggas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they just throwing people on it to you see said, if it works. from above yeah. and you know the blade. Yeah. <laughs> Throw niggas on it. And then once like shit starts settling down and like the process start going, yep. they see niggas standing around uh, like, uh, oh, we we working, we running a lot leaner yeah, now. Like, yeah, yeah. go ahead and cut this person. Absolutely, they start cutting jobs. You know the what dollar, I'm saying? The the, dollar. That's what it's all about, yep, man. Yep, yep. You know they they. Yeah, you know, and, and, I, I understand. And they might think the robot does the job even more efficiently. Exactly. <laughs> That's the other so you thing. You don't profit, have to more efficient. Yeah. They're not no gonna fucking fall off. Yeah. They're not they're gonna, gonna complain. complain. They ain't gonna have no baby, no, no, no maternity, no baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna None fall of that off. shit. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> was just like, <laughs> yeah, make them damn Big Mac. <laughs> make them Big Mac <laughs> all day, <laughs> all day. Long as long as all the fucking engineers got the shit operating. Exactly. That's all it is. That's all they need to do is have one person. Yep. Checking That's all another the thing yeah. that we did at, at, at uh, Ball. It was like when I was in the injection mode and machinery. Going and checking it out. And yeah. Shit. It was like fucking 15 machines and it was yeah. three of us. Wow. So it was like, wow. that's all you did all day. Yeah. Just check the processes and make sure that shit was Big going Max okay. Big Max is going well. Okay. We're going no well. Okay. <laughs> Good. This when motherfucker, this, down, this robot like, tripping. Oh, this, yeah, nigga, this, uh, this nigga going to put one patty under the yeah, bag. We need to, uh, you know, say <laughs> up fix this nigga. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga put and one patty on the nigga. Do it, then we need to start looking at, okay, what's going on with him? Do we need to oil this nigga up a little bit more? <laughs> yeah. you know WD forty or yeah, something? like what the fuck needs to happen? <laughs> what's up with that, man? He's not at what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, we gotta oil this shit up. Yeah, a patty every ten seconds. You know. What I'm saying? <laughs> And this motherfucker only like, doing five. What the yeah. hell? What I mean, the fuck? Like, like, we got to look wrong? at this, man. We, we got to look, look at that. This. And that's what we recall, process engineers. Yeah. And we 15. just, just yeah. monitor the process and make yeah. sure that, you know what I'm saying, it was the way it was supposed to be, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's some some banks that you go into, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, yeah. but you know they're having a little kiosk where you just go there and they're kind of getting rid of the yeah, talent. Yeah, man. Little by little. Yeah. You know what I mean? Grocery stores and stuff. Stuff checkout, of course. You know what I mean? With, and go to the rest doing it. Them. Yeah, man. Which a, a lot of them are actually debating that because I heard um, I read an article where they're wondering. I'm sure they are because grocery theft. stores are very heavy. Some money. stopped yeah. it. They're, Albertsons, they're, yeah, they, they, they stopped, stopped it. Because it added a commitment. Yeah. No yeah. Because of it, theft, it they said that they were getting a lot of oh, theft and it was messing up oh, a lot of God. profit loss. You know what I mean? Because I, I guess all motherfuckers got to do is just not scan the item and it yeah. ain't going to weigh it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they were losing a lot of different, you know what I mean, profit margins by just. With theft, with the self checkouts, yeah. I so it was a kind of a catch twenty two. Yeah, you know, 
I could um, definitely see that because I don't think that their um, their alarm systems are that sophisticated. Now the baloney ain't gonna, yeah. baloney ain't gonna <laughs> go off. Yeah, they ain't gonna go off. It's only it's certain some things DVDs that, up you know, in there. They'll go yeah. off. <laughs> High theft. Low item, bread ain't gonna go off. Yeah, it's not gonna go off. <laughs> yep. You could just kind of slide that shit up slide in there. Slide right in there. Yeah, yeah. my iPhone going off though. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. Absolutely. My phone going off. Uh, Absolutely. So all in all, you know, just to bring it home, man, you know, we we, we talking about the voucher program, the society with academics, gender, geography, how that all ties in with the culture, you know, three brothers in the mic, man, this all goes back to the culture and, and trying to uplift the culture and the communities and, and, and touching on different areas. Uh, but, you know, hip hop came from the struggle. So all of this shit that we talking about goes back to what hip hop is all about. Real you know talk. what I mean? Man, and big ups to, you know, my boy Chance the Rapper, man. Giving a million dollars to the man. Chicago school. Man. Independent. Man. Independent cat, man. Million There's, dollars. One day, man, I want to do that. Well, Real well, shit. One day, I'm sure y'all... Y'all probably see my nigga's kids like run for like San Bernardino, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. San Bernardino council member, yeah, talking yeah. about like that, man. Real like, shit. you know, I definitely want to um get in the politics, that's our Chicago, man. but you know what I'm you saying? Know. I mean, it's it's Kanye, you know, where your money at, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, niggas, yeah, man. Niggas need to start giving money, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get out that pot, homie. Like, man, right. I niggas, man. You know, you want to like always, you know, big up your areas and shit like that, but then you Ain't don't want to do anything, for. doing shit for him, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Like. You know, we 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 got to do this, man. I, I know this. I, I would so like the times. whole Kanye's giving. Nothing's been publicized. I know, and yeah. man, would love <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> I would love to hear that too, man. You no, know, but I, I don't know if you. I don't know if you giving millions, Kanye, and they yeah. putting it out there. But you know, if you're not, that's yeah, fucked up, man. man, that's fucked up, man. But for some reason, man, I feel like my nigga too concentrated on his holy ass clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the Yeezys to do? With yeah. <laughs> Season four. <laughs> Season four Season with the hoes in it. I don't understand that shit, man. Like, hey, man. I don't know why. I, I guess that's like a thing in thing, man. Homeless Me swag. and wifey was talking about that. Yeah, it's like a homeless look. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I think I'm not wearing no shit. Uh, like, for, for real. A sweatshirt nigga that got hoes in it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fucking with that And shit. then paying $200 for Boy, that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Goodwill shit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My nigga, yeah. step your game up, man. Get get some money to the school. Yeah. yeah and, take, and nigga, yeah. all you little niggas, give your trophies back. Yeah, give your trophies back, man. <laughs> if you didn't do I'm all to get for, them, I'm all for no more trophies for niggas that come in last place, my nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry. You I come didn't in last place. get no trophy no, for coming I didn't in get last. No trophy, I had to man. work for that, man. I had to work for that shit, man. And, and, I, and I do agree that kids do have to have a sense of adversity. They you do. Know, you know what I mean? Even your own children, you got to let them oh, know that man, shit ain't easy. for real, man. It's yeah. easy. Not, you know no, I told man. my daughter, man, shit ain't easy, trip, man. It ain't shit no is not trip, fucking absolutely. easy. You're not, you're, not, you're not supposed to be able to get everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? There's some shit you got to work for. Some shit that's just, you know what I'm saying, going to happen for you, man. But like, man, don't nobody owe you shit. Yep. That's one thing. And that if I, you don't you know, know it, thought. this world is going to teach you that. Quick, yeah, quick, When you get man. your ass out there. Real shit. No trophies, my nigga, no man. Trophies, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what if you didn't get nothing from this yeah, podcast, yeah. no trophies, yeah. nigga. Give OC <laughs> the trophies, my nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Pick up the OC. OC. Uh, uh, Apollo Brown. Yeah. Apollo Brown, yeah. yeah. You know what Classic man. ass out, yeah. man. But bring yeah. it back to, man, as, as, as bringing it to the culture. Get involved with what's going involved, on in your man. in your neighborhood, man. If it's the schools, quit looking for the fucking government. To yeah, help you with for this real. Shit, real shit. Real get real. in your ass and vote, and get these people in office that's gonna do something for you. Make these the schools school. do some shit, man. That way you ain't gotta worry about. Yeah. Rather the vouchers come in, yep. rather yep. public yep. schools is getting yep. these motherfuckers get accountable, man. And and once come. again, they it all starts at home. For you. It, it starts, starts at home, home man. It, it definitely home. starts at home, man. Yeah. Your school is good. Your child is going to excel in school regardless where you put his ass at. Yep. If you are involved, I think that's how we get the Venus that's and right. Serena Williams. Yeah. That's how we get. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? You, they exactly. didn't have they 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 school vouchers. Yeah. You know what I mean? They had fucking dedicated ass yep. parents. It's like, Absolutely. you know what? I'm not going to have y'all fucking be up in this bullshit. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to yep. give you something else Correct. that can give you a chance to excel. I've dealt with it in, with my child in his education 
the more I went up there to schools and showed that I am Invo- aware and I'm involved in my child's education, man, them teachers was on it with him. Yeah, yeah. My son used to get on me and be like, man, that teacher on me all the time yeah. now that you came yep. up to school. That's they what know. the fuck That's right. That's what it's they supposed know. to be. Because they know I'm going to be up there. Yeah. It's going to be accountability. Absolutely. I'm going up there yep. to see what's happening. If they think they just a parent and then, you know, you ain't t- chopping it up with them They're at home. They're not going to do nothing. Likes a daisy. Yeah. Man, parents, fucking get involved with your kids, man. Yeah. And don't You're like Wu Tang for the babies, man. <laughs> the babies, man. Stop fucking getting your nails done and your hair did, man. And fucking once take again, care of your kids, man. Once again, all your motherfucking kids don't deserve trophies, man. Take exactly, them home, man. man. That's the take problem. Take the trophies back, man. <laughs> take the trophies Fuck back. Fuck them trophies, my nigga. If you ain't in first, second, third place, you ain't no, get no fucking trophy, trophy man. Nigga, you ain't get no ribbons. You ain't get no ribbon, none of that. Yeah. No motherfucking Red ribbon certificate week. of participation. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you a loser. <laughs> you not certificate work harder next time. You don't get no bumper stickers. None of that shit. Nah, oh, none of that my shit. child came in last place. <laughs> nigga, fuck that shit. <laughs> my child. <laughs> <laughs> my child participated. <laughs> No, <laughs> you fuck that. You don't get shit. You just walk away and you be like, damn, all right, son. You know maybe, what I'm saying? Or you daughter, get it next year. You get it next year. You, you get out there, work you grind, hard. and you hustle, you and you go hard. get it you grind. next year. Yes. That's a false sense of achievement that I think. False uh, sense of achievement. Man. Problem, and it's done, done nothing but made us, you know what I'm saying, have a generation of fucking punks, fucking yeah. suckers, motherfuckers who do not want to work hard and then feel like they deserve everything. Skits. No matter what. When we couldn't get the clothes we wanted when we were kids, what the fuck did we do? Get a motherfucker. We got job. a job, nigga. <laughs> Moms go. was Please like, go. hey, I can't I buy can't you. Buy six I can't buy six yeah, kids. all everything. I can't you get you them that Adidas. You want suit? You know what I'm saying? You want that MCM? <laughs> you better motherfucking better go get a job. job. <laughs> and what do we go do? We, we, we go get that. a motherfucking job. You know what I'm talking about? Cooking corn dogs. These, nigga, these corn dogs. Corn dogs, these concessions, my nigga, who was at the orange show. My nigga was dipping. In the yeah, frank in the yeah. yellow batter. Yeah, man, that's yeah. what we got. In the yellow batter. <laughs> Dipping the frank in the yellow batter on them. You know what I'm saying? That's you know how I mean? we done it. That's how we did it, yo. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I had to school my son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My son wanted this. He couldn't, you know, if you want it, you got to get out get of the house. Get a job, yo. Damn. Man, but I got to do school. Yeah, I got to Man, do. I had to, too. Man, I had to, too. Yep, I had yeah. to, too. You it gotta didn't matter. do it, man. You hustle, man. I don't By understand. any means necessary. We 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 yeah. lost the hustlers, man. Like Malcolm, boy. You gotta yep, get, you absolutely. Gotta get, we gotta get the hustlers yeah, back. Yeah, we gotta man. get the hustle back. We gotta man. get the hustle back, man. And um, like I said, you waiting around for this government, you waiting for Trump to give it to you. Yeah, boy. That's what happened, boy. <laughs> Real tough. You better get your ass out there and hustle, man. We gotta hustle. We've had to do it with or without the government, man. And it's it's you got to get out there and make it happen, but you got to be a part of it, man, in every aspect. Quit looking for the fucking schools or the local government to do it for you, man. Word. Get out there and make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of these parents blaming it on the teachers, blaming it on the school, but when you ask them, when's the last time they did the homework mm-hmm. with the kids? Yep. When's the last yep. time they sat down they're with not. the kids? They feel like they shouldn't have to. Yeah, they feel yep. like they don't have to. And it's bullshit. Like, that's what you go to school for. Like, they're not at school 24 fucking hours a day? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, you think school's supposed to do everything? <laughs> like, Get the tutors, do, your part too, do what man. you're supposed to. Hey, look, I know I'm intimidated too when my son bring the homework, man. Shit, man, I ain't did algebra. I thought he was in. coming to that shit, and I'm like, nigga, <laughs> hey, baby girl, I, I, I don't know this shit, but we can look shit. it up online. But we're going to find out how yeah. to get it. We're going to find out. If yeah, I got to get a tutor, you know what I'm Yo. saying? If, if I got to go get. um. Get the Asian boy, and I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't email me in the comments yeah. about that shit. I'm not like y'all gonna be on me about yeah. that. Yeah. But no, whatever, cool with the Asians. Yeah, you know love man. the Asians. Y'all got a battle life. just like we do. Absolutely. Y'all ain't white privilege neither. Yeah, exactly. You know yep. Y'all got a battle, but whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? I might not know it. I had to get tutors for my son. Word. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have the answers for everything. You know, um, but. That's where it's at. It's the culture, man. You know, I hate to use it, but I think it's for the culture, man. It's for the culture, man. <laughs> it's for the culture, man. All Absolutely. Right, man. Yeah. Everything is for the culture when you talk about three brothers in the mic. Show, man. That's Absolutely. how we do it. Three brothers in the mic, man. Once again, thanks for Episode tuning in. Episode number two, two, I guess it's two. like a... Yeah, this is you it. Know, yeah, this is it, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It was... Little bonus, you know what I'm saying? I we, know we say we we'll try to stay hip hop and not so yeah, political, but yeah. 
Sometimes, this man, we got we got we got to speak on shit, man. Word. We got to speak on we got to speak on what we feel. You know what I'm saying? And, and, we, and we speak into the hip hop culture. Yeah, so we can touch on topics that you know cats ain't shedding light on. Yeah, then man. you know that's still doing it for the culture, it's man. Still doing, you know what I mean? Culture, so. You know, if you if it ain't you, all just the music. When you talk nah. about hip hop culture, it isn't just the music. Correct. Please don't I, get it Because all, all of these things that we talking yeah. about affects the culture. For you sure. know what I mean? Which is the people. You know what I mean? So right, whatever, yo. whatever uplifts the people, we for it. Three brothers in the mic. Thanks for tuning in. Three brothers in, in the mic. Peace. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Peace, Peace out. Peace out.